that verdict unanimous? It is. One. With regard to count one, attempted murder of Lauren Canarac, what is your verdict? Not guilty by reason of insanity. With regard to count two, attempted murder of Robert Goodwin, what is your verdict, sir? Not guilty. All right, welcome back, everybody. While the Pike County Massacre trial takes their lunch break, our coverage moves over to Morristown, New Jersey. And what you just saw was former Olympian Michael Barrison now residing in a psychiatric facility following his trial back in April. That was the verdict that you just heard. Barrison, remember, was found not guilty by means of insanity back in April for attempting to kill his equestrian student, Lauren Canarak, along with her boyfriend in 2019. Barrison stood trial earlier this year with his defense team putting on the case that Canarak drove Barrison over the edge using social media to taunt him and damage his reputation. Now, following his insanity verdict, he was transferred to a psychiatric hospital. And as of this month, he is in now in a less restrictive facility pending a follow up in six months. But to get a little context into how this case played out, let's look back at some of the closing arguments on both sides. Did the defendant know and appreciate the nature and quality of his acts? That's the other part of the insanity defense. So if you believe that the defendant has convinced you that he was delusional, that's not the end of the inquiry. You still have to decide whether that delusional disorder made it such that he didn't know the nature and quality of his acts or that he didn't know what he was doing was wrong. And the judge is going to tell you, you do not have to rely just on the doctors for this. You can rely on your common sense. You can rely on the other evidence that you heard. What did the other evidence show? All the same things that established that the defendant wanted to kill show that he knew the nature and quality of his actions. Everything had fallen apart. The working relationship, the business relationship, the social relationship, the farm is getting shut down, police are there, town officials are coming, lawyers are sending fake eviction notices, everything has fallen apart. Then I ask, from a common sense perspective, what's the trigger? What makes it on August 7th, 2019, defendant hasn't seen Lauren or Rob at all that day? What makes the delusion at that point click? Turns off his memory and makes him say, I have to go kill or be killed. This delusion of fear has now driven me to have to go and kill. It's the Dyfus case, you know, the DCPMP caseworker showing up there. Not to say, Lauren and Rob called us and said something about you. The defendant isn't sitting in his office, doesn't look out the window and see a bird flying overhead and believe that the bird was sent to spy on him by Lauren and Rob and that he has to go kill them. He sees the caseworker there and he decides in that moment to act impulsively, to act emotionally and to act purposely and to go try and kill Lauren and Rob. So I would suggest the evidence shows that the defendant did not carry his burden with respect to the insanity defense. What was Cataract's motivation? She admitted to a plan to destroy him and the business. That plan included attacking him on social media, accusing him falsely of neglecting horses, insurance fraud, falsely claiming bullying and threatening her life, she had a plan to scare him. <coughs> Remember the text that, was, 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 that I questioned her about? We have to scare Michael Barrasso. And then the various texts after that, where she's talking about Michael Barrasso being scared. Totally different circumstances. <coughs> I submit that she had a plan to cause him to flee his own house by scaring him, talking about weapons incessantly, sleeping with a gun underneath her pillow, having two guns, two nine millimeter guns, talking about killing the king, 
sacrificing the queen, destroying the castle, talking incessantly about going to war. It's time. War's inevitable. Why would anyone say those things unless they were trying to drive someone over the edge? What possible legitimate purpose would they have attacking him like that? So based on how this case panned out, was Michael Barrisone better off in jail or in the mental health facility, Murray? What do you think? I think clearly he needed help. And I think being in the mental facility will allow them to give him that psychiatric help that he needs. It does have drawbacks because you have to remain, in, I don't want to say incarcerated, but in the institution until the doctors deem you safe to be let out in the community and not harmful to yourself or others. So you can actually serve a longer sentence under those terms than you would if you were found guilty of the crime, but not by reason of insanity. Well, you speak about the sentence, and Michael, I want to get your thoughts on this. Do you think he'll ever be released completely? I think he's going to be released. I think he's going to have to stay for a good while in some sort of custodial arrangement. And the reason for that is the defense theory of the case is essentially this guy was harassed so much that he went crazy and he ended up over in their apartment or their dwelling. And at best, he was involved in some kind of mutual combat with the boyfriend. At worst, he did an attempted murder. And that depends on who you believe and how the blow by blow exactly went. I know the boyfriend got the better of the fight after his girlfriend was shot and he ended up on top and he, um, the defendant took a big beating. And now there's going to be some civil litigation, which we can go into, but clearly Jeopardy attached. Uh, there's no, there's a bar to a criminal suit and he's, it's better to be in a mental facility than to be in prison for attempted murder for sure. Well, it's interesting, Marie, as we look at those images, you just see a very insane looking Michael Barrisone in that verdict. And those are one of the last images that we have seen of Michael Barrisone. And when you're his team and you want him to have his sentence be lessened, I mean, do you depict a certain picture now saying, hey, this was what he was and it's only getting worse for him. So give the man some break. Oh, absolutely. They did a really great job at convincing those jurors that he was incapable of forming any type of malicious intent, which is required by this crime. It's, there's mens rea. You have to intend to commit the act. And they basically said he was incapable of appreciating right from wrong. Now, while he's in the institution with proper treatment, it would be time for him to start acting right so that they can deem him releasable soon. They no doubt painted a very good picture showing just how insane and demented Michael Barrisone is in this state.